Welcome to another exciting episode of Microbe Marvels. Today, we're delving into the captivating world of industrial microbiology, where microorganisms play a crucial role in the production of one of the world's favorite beverages beer. In this video, we'll take you through the fascinating journey of how microbes contribute to every step of the beer-making process. What is beer? Beer is an alcoholic beverage made by fermenting malted grains, typically barley, with water, hops, and yeast. The process of brewing involves converting the starches in the grains into sugars, which the yeast then converts into alcohol and carbon dioxide during fermentation. It is one of the oldest and most widely consumed drinks globally, with various styles and flavors available to cater to diverse tastes. History of Beer? The history of beer is a long and fascinating one, dating back thousands of years. Here is a brief overview. Origins. The earliest evidence of beer production can be traced back to ancient civilizations in Mesopotamia, around 5000 to 6000 BCE. Sumerians, are credited with being one of the first cultures to brew beer. They worshipped the goddess of beer, Ninkasi, and had written recipes for beer on clay tablets. Ancient Egypt. Beer was an essential part of daily life in ancient Egypt. It was consumed by people of all social classes, and even used as a form of currency for trade. The Egyptians brewed various types of beer, including date-based and barley-based varieties. Middle Ages. Beer brewing spread across Europe during the Middle Ages. Monasteries became centers of beer production, and monks brewed beer not only for sustenance but also to support their monastic communities. Hops were introduced as a key ingredient in beer, adding flavor and acting as a preservative. Industrial Revolution. With the advent of industrialization in the 18th and 19th centuries, beer production underwent significant changes. Innovations such as the steam engine and refrigeration made mass production and distribution of beer possible, leading to the rise of large breweries. Prohibition. In the early 20th century, several countries, including the United States, implemented prohibition laws, banning the production and sale of alcoholic beverages, including beer. Post-prohibition and craft beer revolution. After the repeal of Prohibition, the beer industry began to recover, but large breweries dominated the market. However, in the late 20th century, a significant shift occurred with the emergence of the craft beer movement. Today, beer is one of the most widely consumed alcoholic beverages globally, with a rich cultural history and a diverse range of styles, flavors, and brewing traditions enjoyed by people around the world. What kind of microbes used in beer production? The two primary types of microorganisms used in the beer-making process are yeasts and bacteria. Yeasts. Yeasts are responsible for the fermentation process, where they consume the sugars in the wort and convert them into alcohol and carbon dioxide. The two main types of yeast used in beer production are Saccharomyces cerevisiae. This is the most common yeast used in ale-style beers. It ferments at warmer temperatures and produces a range of fruity and complex flavors. Saccharomyces pastorianus. This yeast is used for lager-style beers and ferments at colder temperatures, producing a cleaner and crisper profile. Bacteria. While most beer production aims to keep unwanted bacteria out of the process, some beer styles intentionally incorporate certain bacteria for unique characteristics. The main types of bacteria used in beer production are Lactic acid bacteria. Lactic acid bacteria like Lactobacillus and Pediococcus, are used in certain sour beer styles to produce lactic acid, which imparts tart and sour flavors to the beer. Bretonomyces. Bretonomyces, often referred to as bread, is a type of yeast but is commonly grouped with bacteria due to its distinct behavior. It is used in some wild and sour beer styles to add funky and complex flavors. Wild yeasts and bacteria. In some traditional or experimental beer styles, Brewers may rely on wild yeasts and bacteria present in the environment or on the raw materials to spontaneously ferment the beer. This approach is used in traditional lambic and goose beers, resulting in unique and complex flavors. What is the process of beer production? Here's a detailed explanation of the beer production process. Malting. The process begins with malting, where barley grains are soaked in water to initiate germination. The germinated barley is then dried in a kiln to halt the process. This malting step activates enzymes in the barley that convert the starches into fermentable sugars, which are essential for the fermentation process. Mashing. The malted barley is coarsely ground into a powder called grist. The grist is mixed with hot water in a large vessel known as a mash tun. This process, called mashing, allows the enzymes from the malt to convert the starches into sugars, creating a sugary liquid known as wort. 
boiling and hopping. The wort is transferred to a brew kettle and boiled. During boiling, hops are added. Hops are the flowers of the hop plant and are responsible for providing bitterness, aroma, and flavor to the beer. The boiling process also sterilizes the wort and helps to concentrate its flavors. Cooling. After boiling, the hot wort needs to be cooled rapidly to a temperature suitable for fermentation. This is typically achieved using a heat exchanger or by passing the wort through a series of coolers. Fermentation. The cooled wort is transferred to a fermentation vessel, where yeast is added. Yeast is a microorganism that consumes the sugars in the wort and converts them into alcohol and carbon dioxide through the process of fermentation. Conditioning and maturation. After primary fermentation, the beer undergoes a secondary fermentation process known as conditioning or maturation. During this stage, the beer continues to develop flavors and clarity. The beer is often conditioned in large tanks or barrels. Filtration and carbonation. Once the desired flavors are achieved, the beer is filtered to remove any remaining solids or yeast. Carbonation can be achieved naturally through fermentation or artificially by injecting carbon dioxide. Packaging and quality control. It's time for packaging and quality control. Microbiologists in the beer industry play a vital role in ensuring the final product's safety and consistency. They monitor and check beer for any unwanted microbial contaminants that could spoil the beer or alter its taste. The final step involves packaging the beer for distribution and consumption. Now that our beer is ready. Throughout the production process, quality control measures are essential to ensure the beer's consistency and safety. What are the nutritional ingredients of a beer? It's important to remember that beer is not a significant source of essential nutrients, and its consumption should be balanced with a healthy and varied diet. The nutritional content of beer can vary based on factors such as the beer style, alcohol content, and specific ingredients used. Here are the main nutritional components found in beer. Carbohydrates. Beer contains carbohydrates, primarily in the form of maltose and other fermentable sugars. These sugars are essential for the fermentation process, where yeast converts them into alcohol and carbon dioxide. Alcohol. Ethyl alcohol, the main psychoactive component in beer, is produced during fermentation. Alcohol provides calories and contributes to the beverage's intoxicating effects. Calories. Beer is a caloric beverage, with the calorie content varying based on the beer's alcohol content and carbohydrate level. On average, a standard serving of beer contains around 150,200 calories. Protein. Beer contains small amounts of proteins, primarily derived from the barley used in brewing. The protein content is relatively low compared to other dietary sources. B vitamins. Beer contains various B vitamins, including niacin, B3, riboflavin, B2, and pyridoxine, B6. These vitamins are sourced from the malted barley used in brewing. Minerals. Beer contains trace amounts of minerals, such as magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, and selenium, which are derived from the brewing water and ingredients. Polyphenols. Beer contains polyphenols derived from hops and barley, which can act as antioxidants and may have some health benefits. Water. Water makes up a significant portion of beer's composition, and its mineral content can impact the beer's taste and mouthfeel. Statutory note for beer consumption. Please note that the consumption of beer is subject to certain laws and regulations, which vary by country and region. Before consuming beer, it is essential to be aware of the legal guidelines related to its consumption. Age restrictions. In many jurisdictions, the legal drinking age for consuming alcoholic beverages, including beer, is 18 or 21 years old. It is illegal and strictly prohibited for individuals below the legal drinking age to consume beer. Drink responsibly. Beer consumption should always be done responsibly and in moderation. Excessive alcohol consumption can lead to health issues, impaired judgment, and adverse effects on personal and public safety. Driving under the influence. Driving while under the influence of alcohol is illegal and dangerous. It can lead to accidents, injuries, and legal consequences. Never drink and drive. Health considerations. Individuals with certain health conditions or who are taking medications should consult their healthcare professionals before consuming alcoholic beverages, including beer. Pregnancy. Pregnant women are advised to abstain from alcohol consumption, including beer, due to potential risks to the developing fetus. Licensing and permits. Bars, restaurants, and establishments serving beer must hold the necessary licenses and permits to sell alcohol legally. Public consumption. 
In some areas, public consumption of alcohol, including beer, may be restricted or prohibited. Always follow local laws and regulations regarding alcohol consumption in public spaces. Taxation. Alcoholic beverages, including beer, are often subject to specific taxation, contributing to government revenues and regulating consumption. Social and cultural considerations. Beer consumption should be respectful of social and cultural norms. In some cultures or religious contexts, alcohol consumption may be restricted or forbidden. Remember that adherence to these laws and regulations not only ensures compliance with the law but also promotes responsible drinking and contributes to a safe and enjoyable drinking experience for all. Conclusion. And there you have it, the remarkable role of industrial microbiology in the world of beer production. From malting to fermentation and beyond, microorganisms orchestrate this magical transformation of ingredients into one of the world's most loved beverages. We hope you enjoyed this journey through the microscopic world of beer. If you found this video intriguing, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and share it with your fellow beer enthusiasts. Cheers, and until next time, stay curious.